Welcome to Javon Slab Products LLC. Hope all is well wherever you at. Welcome back to the channel. Before we continue, I want y'all to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that notification button. And I want you to hit that share button. And share this video with whoever you think that will benefit, right? So today, we're going to be talking about lack of knowledge causes stress, right? Lack of knowledge causes stress. Now, some people may watch this and say, well, what is he talking about, man? You know, everything going on right now with COVID-19, how knowledge going to help me? What that got to do with the problems that I'm facing right now in my life? It got everything to do with it, right? Now, of course, some things is inevitable. We can't change. We have no control over. And from the foundation of knowledge is knowing that you don't know everything. And you will never know everything. No matter how much books you read and how much you study, you will never know everything from the cradle to the grave you will never know everything no matter how much knowledge you see so this the this is the platform of knowledge but once you once you know this once you understand this you will always make an effort to learn more as the old saying go, which I'm pretty sure some of us may have heard watching this video. If you think education is expensive, wait till you get the bill for ignorance. If you think education is expensive, wait till you get the bill for ignorance. And in this case, I'm not talking about college. I'm talking about your will. Nobody forcing you to read and study. Your willpower. Right? Now, Books cost next to nothing, right? Depending on where you get it from. But even then, right? What you pay for a book don't matter and shouldn't matter. Even if the book is expensive. Remember in life, price is what you pay. But value is what you get. Again, price is what you pay, but the value is what you get. It should be what you get. That should be your focus, the value. See, I, prefer, I, prefer, I provide value. Jerome Salah Products, we provide value. So this is why we charge what we charge. For example, on my website, my value Is unique now when you focus on the value of things 
the price you pay for a book is not going to matter. Because you will revise that book 10 years down the line and get something new every time you revise it for a cheap price. What, 10, 20, 30, 40, even $100? What's that? For the value that you're going to get. The investment you're going to make in your mind. Same thing with conferences. Forget the price of the ticket. The people that you're going to possibly meet there. The network that you're going to create for yourself. The stuff you're going to hear from successful people that's at where you tr- where you trying to get, where you striving to be. That's the value. And that's priceless. That's why the price don't matter. And successful people, we focus on value, not the price. Because the value always cover the price. That's why people will pay a premium for value. Excuse me, they will pay a premium price if the value is there. Now, everything that's going on right now with the pandemic, precisely, a lot of people are stressed out. Of course, some things is inevitable. I'm not saying that. But but what I am saying, we should be using this time productively to get more in tune with ourselves. Getting knowledge of ourself, spending time with ourself, investing in our mind, using this time to the best of our advantage by reading books and studying successful people. That's where you at. That's 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 at where you trying to get. Where you trying to go? Excuse me. You you uh, you understand? So. The value that you get from learning, you will not fall victim for a lot of these fake ghouls. There's a lot of people that get scammed daily. Quick, you know, they want quick get rich schemes. They forfeit a lot of advertisers, a lot of fake ghouls, a lot of people forfeit, especially in a time like this. To get over on your lack of knowledge. Not knowing is very expensive. You see, because when you know, nobody can't come to you with no bullshit. You have data, right? You have data. When you speak over the phone with business people. When you go to an interview, when you when you have meetings, when you the way you conduct yourself in the meeting, the language that you speak says a lot about you. And people will know by what come off your tongue, the type of mindset you have. And they will know if you a fool or if you somebody that's self-educated. So I would advise anybody, especially now. With this pandemic, if you haven't developed the habit of reading to eliminate that stress that you're going through by not knowing, invest in your mind. Because when you have information, when you have knowledge, you are able to handle situations that most people can't handle because you have the knowledge that most people don't have. So you're able to stay calm and cool and not panic. And you're able to implement a lot of these things that you learn. And this is the advantage that people that have knowledge have. We know how to navigate. We know how to adjust. We know how to pivot. Because we have knowledge. So feed your mind with knowledge. With good knowledge, that's going to help you be a better person. And you will see that your life start to change. You won't be stressed out as much. You wouldn't be stressed out. And if you do, if 
you ever get in a situation where stress occurs, you will know how to handle yourself unlike most because you have knowledge that most people don't have. Not that it's not available to ed- to everybody, right? But only a few choose to pick up the treasure. They choose to pick up the gold, the wealth of knowledge is in books, is in the library. But you have to transfer that wealth into your mind. Because this is the foundation of wealth, it's knowledge. He who don't have knowledge will have stress. Again, if you think knowledge or you say that you don't have time for knowledge, to seek knowledge, to get self-educated, then don't complain when you get the bill for ignorance, which is very high. The bill for ignorance is costing you millions right now. Some people even billions to the extent of their ignorance. Because all the small expenses that add up due to your lack of knowledge, when you pile that up throughout a lifespan, years of your life, you wasted millions. You blew millions that you already had that was in your that that was within your reach but you can't keep hold of it because you didn't have the knowledge to see it going by little by little right in front of you it's like a fly we wave it off we keep waving it off we keep waving it off we keep waving it off because we think that it can't harm us it's so small just like that water drop right that keep falling in the bucket. Eventually, that one drop of water, that one small expense, that one small expense, that one drop of water will reach the top of the bucket. And remember that. Javon Salah Products LLC. I love y'all. Stay blessed.